If you don't like college football and you watch this one, I'm not sure what your problem is. 52 to 49, Tennessee remains unbeaten. We say it all the time to ourselves, but how lucky are we to be able to be part of this? No doubt. Presented by Rocket Mortgage right after these messages. So long from Rocky Top. The Orange Crush is on in Knoxville after one of the craziest games we have ever experienced. And those are some very important uprights that are coming down and may end up in the Tennessee River tonight. Right on, Cowboy. After the Vols defeat the Tide 52-49 on a Chase McGrath knuckleball from 40 yards out as Tennessee defeats Alabama. Amazing scene we are experiencing now and a tremendous game over the last four hours. So you say it's been a while since they beat Alabama. <laughs> I mean, holy smokes. What passion. And if you were trying to explain college football to somebody, Brian, you think this picture might get it done? This uh, explains the euphoria that goes along with uh, righting a wrong that has uh, afflicted you for 15 years. Yeah, this this is uh, this picture is more than a thousand words. And uh, one correction from earlier, I, I said Tennessee would need to score at least 40. <laughs> I meant 50. <laughs> and so they did. And so they did. And what a scene as Hendon Hooker leads one last final drive to set up the McGrath field goal. What is this guy freeloading? <laughs> Do some work. Hopefully everybody stays safe. We're told it's the first field storm of this nature at Neyland Stadium since they defeated Florida back in 98. And they get Alabama off their chest. This, the ebbs and flows of this ball game are what rivalries are made of. And this now officially is a rivalry again after Alabama had owned them for 15 years. And to see Tennessee withstand this Alabama storming back and yet come out with a victory in the manner in which they accomplished this glorious win was amazing. All great stories have great characters, and this is no exception. Hendon Hooker was fabulous. 21 of 30, 385 yards, five touchdown passes, but at his absolute best with 15 seconds left, hitting two big-time in routes to get themselves in position to kick the game-winning field goal. Jalen Hyatt catches five touchdown passes in this game. That's the SEC record. I mean, it's a phenomenal performance against what we said before the game, one of the top defenses in all the land. But I do have to say this, and as good as Nick Saban is, there was a calculated mistake here. They should have been running the ball when they got to the 32-yard line to force Tennessee to use their timeouts. But that just diminishes from what we're watching on the screen because that should be the story. I think what I need you to do, Rick, is draw up a play to get these uprights out of the stadium at this point. <laughs> they got to They're break the them down. They got the to trophy. break them down a little bit more, I believe, before they can carry them out of that stadium. But to your, your point, Rick, there were mistakes made on, on both sides of, of this ball game. I and mean, you see them, uh, they, they got their cigars ready. Uh, a, I said about 100,000 cigars are in that, that stadium uh, currently, the ritual after this following uh, this rivalry ball game. But there were mistakes that were made, and that goes to the ebb and flow of these rivalry games, whether it's on the field, whether it's on the sideline and coaches mismanaging ball, the ball game at certain instances. That's part of it. I think you expect that, especially when you have two teams as closely aligned as these are. The Masters has a green jacket. <laughs> Wimbledon has that beautiful plate, right? We've seen the Lombardi trophy for the Super Bowl. Now we see goalposts because they have slayed the dragon. They have finally beaten Alabama. And let me also say, you, you mentioned Hooker's numbers, Bryce Young coming back. There was no pitch count for this guy. Well, he had 52 passes. 52 pass attempts, well over 400 yards passing, and he looked as if he hasn't missed any time. And both of these young men are NFL-quality quarterbacks. And what a difference, though, with, with where this game could have ended for Tennessee if Reichert makes his field goal and, and Tennessee has to start from deeper in their own territory and, and if there had been less time on the clock for them to do this maybe they wouldn't feel like they were back and now the Vols can say they are back they got over the Florida hump earlier this year at home they're still going to have a trip to Georgia in a few weeks they'll got to deal with Kentucky as well in the SEC East but there is no greater feeling than what they're experiencing right now in Knoxville guys no greater feeling absolutely and look at 
this is a team that has great has a great quarterback, a quarterback that understands the offense. He ran for over 50 yards, was there when they needed him as a runner. He understands he, he has unbelievable poise in the pocket and a gifted crew of wide receivers. Yes. Remember, Cedric Tillman didn't play in this game. When he comes back and is healthy, this is going to look very much like the 2019 LSU team that had Joe Burrow and that gifted group of receivers. They're going to be hard to handle. No doubt. And defensively, there's, that's still a work in progress currently for Tim Banks, the aggressive defensive coordinator who came over in 2021 from Penn State. But these guys, they flew around. Uh, they made plays when a play needed to be made, stopping Alabama on that last drive, forcing the 50-yard kick by Reichardt. It, of course, he, he missed that kick. So, so they went out and they afflicted upon Alabama what Alabama had intended for them. And I can, I, I, I can imagine, I know how they feel in that locker room when your arch rival has owned you. Now, I never had one home, you know, UT for 15 years, and UCLA never had one that owned it for 15 years. But five or six years, yeah, that seems like a lifetime. Just imagine what 15 years feels like. The party is just beginning in Knoxville. The cigars are getting lit up. And uh, a tradition that exists only in this Bama-Tennessee game, <laughs> although we've seen players adopt it, including Joe Burrow. Mm -hmm. And this